What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out WWE Top 20 Bray Wyatt's greatest moments, man. Bray Wyatt, such a talented, talented individual. His characters that he comes up with and how he acts and portrays them are literally top tier, man. Love his work in the ring. He's had some pretty good feuds, pretty great moments. Glad that he's back in WWE and very intrigued to see where they're taking his story right now will his story ultimately align with roman reigns once again we will see but we're gonna check out some of his greater moments in the past appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel shout out to apex predator series for always coming up with these cool compilations let's get right into the video and you dig it, dig it sucker dig it, sucker <laughs> Off. You want to keep any chance of Rhino getting back in there. Protection of Orton, a right hand from Bray Wyatt. Wow. Oh, wow. What a power slam by Orton. An explosive shoulder tackle from the corner by Rhino. Look at this. The upside gap. Yep. That's when they teamed up together for a bit. Now, I like their tag team for a bit. The new tag team champions. Premacy have been procured by the new Wyatt family. The fireflies are out. One of the most frightening scenes in all of WWE. That is such a cool visual. Controversial. Look at that, bro. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> This was a good feud too. This is such a good feud. This is such a good feud. Bro, look at this. We have CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, the Wyatt family, and the Shield in their prime all in the same segment. Take me back, please. Take me back. Oh. Just have Triple H take over the show at the time. But take me back. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Are y'all not feeling what I'm feeling here? CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Wyatt Family, Shield. All in the same area, the same vicinity, the same company. Take me back. Oh my god. We're here. Oh, I miss it, bro. I just miss it, man. I had to up the quality. Oh my god. Oh my god. Giving him the beats. Not the Husky Hairs chance. No mercy, Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt mercilessly attack Bray Wyatt back first on the barricade. Place Bray Wyatt does not want to be. Rest in peace, my guy. Bray Wyatt beats Randy Orton at no mercy. Rest in peace, man. Gone too soon. <laughs> I like Bro, hold on. I just now noticed what's her name? The one of the puppets just popped up at like in the back area. I just now noticed that. Like popped up behind the barricade. Yeah, they've just popped up behind the barricade. I just noticed that. Love it. Love it. 
We're sharing something right now. <laughs> but in our dreams, we're superheroes. We dream of revenge. We dream of payback. But everything, everything, everything is war. I used to have this mean old teacher. What is it about you that makes you think that you're so much better than me? Is it because your mommy and daddy paid for you to go to some fancy school? She said, Bray Wyatt, the first time that I ever looked inside of your eyes, I knew that you were evil. Teacher lady, look at me right now. Oh, man. I got the whole damn world in my hands. But, uh, I don't know how they dropped the ball with him originally. I still stand by this statement. He should have never lost at WrestleMania 30. John Cena should have put him over, bro. He was white hot. He was white hot. After he lost to John Cena at WrestleMania, he lost his momentum. He lost his momentum, bro. He didn't really regain his momentum until he won the WWE Championship, honestly. And he should have beat Randy Orton at that year's WrestleMania. But guess what? He lost. He lost his momentum. They repackage him. He comes back as The Fiend, one of the most over entities in WWE. Guess what? Ends up losing Hell in a Cell. Don't know how. Well, it was a no contest. I don't. That, that really messed up his momentum. He got the title from Seth Rollins. All right, cool. We're on the road. You know, his people are kind of iffy on it. And then ultimately. It goes downhill when he loses to fucking Goldberg, and at that point, it was no saving him. He did have a good, interesting little situation with John Cena. Uh, I like that little Firefly Funhouse uh, segment with John Cena. That was pretty entertaining, but outside of that, he was done. Problem is, his Wyatt family, all three members have been eliminated by Brock Lesnar. Harper in after Lesnar, and now Rowan, and now Strowman. And remember, there's no just out of the ring. They've already been eliminated. This is so cool. Suplex set it out, Sister Abigail, the Brock Lesnar. With three members of the Wyatt family, Lesnar's eliminated. That was a cool entrance. We're here. He should have won. This is such a good entrance, too. I forgot about this entrance. People wanted to see this too. I wanted to see this. Definitely wanted to see that, man. Oh, yeah, that's when he teamed up with Matt Hardy. This was a cool little moment. I cannot believe what I'm saying. How cool with the help of his partner. Superman punch. Change of plans. Ambrose going up top. Now goes Harper. Roman Reigns says, here we go. Yeah, this was the first time I think Braun was shown on television. Yeah. This big monster is squatted. Bro, Braun has lost a lot of weight from then. That was a cool move. I wish he would do that. Then his running power slam. That move was cool as hell. Wait, that shit was cool. But he, Braun has lost a lot of weight. Kudos to him, even though people are not rocking with him on social media right now because his recent comments. Rest in peace, man. <laughs> Bro, 
Damn, they give it out the beat. Love it, bro. <laughs> Embracing it. I love it. For one final blow. And a stop again. <laughs> it's the red lighting that ruins this match for me. I can barely see any. It was cool to see, but once again, they put him into the title contention way too soon. They booked themselves in the corner because if you're here, we're going to have him have it. You're going to have him have this match. He probably should have beat uh, Seth Rollins in Hell in a Cell. At Seth Rollins Halloween. Ah, oh, yeah. This is good. Showing up on SmackDown. This is good. I'm incredibly grateful. And I'm really, really nervous to be here. But I never thought of this would happen before. This is just me being me genuine me for the first time i lost two people who were very very close to me nothing i ever did has mattered to anyone i, I was wrong. this is such a very good I was wrong. It's very and good I promo lost my self-confidence every time i tried to run away and hide you were there to find me you all saved my life this is really good And then they came out and stopped it. The, oh my God, it's Wyatt. What? It's Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt under the ladder. Going after Roman Reigns. Sister Abigail. Because he's a no good son. Crowd loving it. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, this right here. I actually went back, I believe, and went back and watched this moment because it was just such a great moment to see Bray Wyatt win and become the WWE champion. Bray Wyatt. This is so good to see. This is such a good moment, bro. Oh my God. It was such a good moment. Such a great moment. Watch it at home. Yep. The crowd went crazy. Crowd, I'm getting goosebumps. Watching this live is such an amazing moment. The crowd went insane. Just one of the loudest pops. One of the loudest pops, bro, of this year. Such a good moment. Such a very, very, very great moment. Um, I'll always remember when Bray came back to WWE this year, man. It's just, I I, I have a great feeling they're going to do right by him. Triple H is going to do whatever he can to make sure that Bray Wyatt gets the proper booking decisions. And they're going to do what they can to make sure uh, he does well. And I'm looking forward to it. A lot of people are talking about he should be the guy to defeat Roman. We actually have some people that can viably it would be okay and people would trip for them to beat Roman. I think the three people we can think of, honestly, um, right now, Sami Zayn, Bray Wyatt, and Cody Rose. I'm okay with all three of those. I doubt Sami will probably do it. He'll probably end up teaming up with Kevin Owens to take the tag titles from the Usos. But... I will say this, out of Cody and Bray, Bray has more of the storyline there because of their history. If you guys remember, Roman turned heel on Bray Wyatt when he came back and took the championship from him. And then you also have um, Cody Rose 
pretty much only reason why he came back to WWE is to win the championship. He, you know, he never was able to get. So, um, uh, hey, they can go either way. I trust and believe I would have no problems if Bray Wyatt was the guy to defeat Roman Reigns. I, I wouldn't trip. I wouldn't lose no sleep. I would be A-OK -okay with that. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite Bray Wyatt moment. One of my favorites, and I, I'm surprised they didn't have it in this list. It has to be the speech when the, uh, when he went back to SmackDown as the WWE champion after he won from Elimination Chamber and how the crowd was chanting, you deserve it. You deserve it. If you go back and watch that whole segment, that segment was great. Crowd was endearing to him. It was such a beautiful moment to see him with the championship. It was great. That's one of my favorite Bray Wyatt moments of all time because it was finally something that the fans have been wanting to see for them to ultimately drop the ball per usual. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.